This video is about the multiplication strategy called using partial products. Let's take a look at what this strategy looks like with a problem. We're going to begin with using 6 times 7. I'm going to use an area model to help demonstrate this strategy. When we think about using partial products, what we're doing is we're thinking about taking leaving one of our factors whole and then decomposing the other factor into its add-ins. So for example, if I have a six by seven array, it would look something like this. It has a dimension of six and a dimension of seven. If I want to use the strategy using partial products to help me figure out what six times seven is, I might think about seven as decomposed into its add-ins of five and two, because that might make it easier to solve the problem. So I could go six times five and six times two, and know that that's six times five is 30 and six times two is 12. And so then I can figure out that 30 and 12 is 42. That is a way to do that. However, I could actually also think about six times seven. I could think about the seven decomposed into five or into six and one. And so then that would look like this. It has a dimension of six and another dimension of six plus that dimension of one, because this is where that seven comes in. So I know that six times six is 36, and one more group of six, so 36 and six is 42. So this is a way to think about using partial products. Now, let's look at it using a two digit by two digit. So again, the idea here would be Always try, if possible, to keep one of these factors whole. So maybe I want to keep this whole, but I want to decompose this into add-ins that might be easier to multiply with. What about 10 and 5? So if I look at my area model, it has a dimension of 12, and I need a dimension of 15, but I'm going to do my dimension of 10 first, 12 times 10. That's a fact I like. It's 120. And then I need five more because I'm doing that for 15 because this has to be a total dimension of 15. So 12 times five, well, I know that's half of what 12 times 10 is, so that's 60. So 120 plus 60 is 180. So this is an example of using partial products to find your answer.